The pandemic is creating a new challenge for students at Menominee Falls High School and students across America. Short supplies of some foods for school lunches. Randy Jones helps coordinate vegetable, fruit, and meat purchases for Wisconsin schools. It's impacting everything. It's impacting everything from uh, food items, which are common, like, you know, you have your beef, your chicken, um, and non-food items, such as serving trays and plasticware and things of that nature. Menominee Falls public school families received this message about supply chain shortages and the possibility of last minute menu changes. Product shortages are due to a lack of availability of raw ingredients and labor to produce, unload and transfer food products. Some food and or beverage products normally provided to students may not be available or arrive as scheduled. One major school lunch provider says they expect the shortages to be temporary. Sodexo provides lunches for West Dallas Public Schools and in a statement said they are working closely with local, regional and national food suppliers to anticipate supply shortages early and find alternative food sources. You know, you'd think that, oh, we can get bread everywhere, but for schools, that's, um, that's not a common item that you can just pick up everywhere. You're, the, the schools are really scrambling to get those kind of items. How long is this going to last? How, that's that's the magic question, right? Nobody really knows. They're projecting this is going to go on until next school year as well. Terry joins us live from West Milwaukee Middle School tonight. And Terry, it's not just food that's in short supply. That's right, Toya. The food industry is also reporting labor shortages. Menominee Falls Schools confirmed that, saying it's tough to find food service workers.